Howdy, howdy. Today we're going to be doing a beach themed pour. So let's grab your surfboard and go down to the canvas. So we're using a lot of different colors today. The only pure color is this one, titanium white. I'm going to show you guys the other colors. They're all mixes of a few different colors and I will have that in the description below. So if you're curious how to make these colors, make sure you check that out. I've got my colors split into two different groups. Browns for the beach and then those blues are going to be our water. The white is going to be sea foam and the waves for both the beach and the water. None of these colors have any silicone in them because we're not going for cells with this look. They all are mixed with Floetrol though. We're going to get started with the water side. So I'm going to set those browns to the top of the canvas while I work with the blues. I usually do beach pours by doing a swipe, but I wanted to try something a little different today. And we're going to try doing a tree ring pour instead. So I'm just going to layer the colors. I didn't particularly have an order, but I knew I wanted one side of the cup to be darker and one side to be lighter. So I'm using more of that dark blue at the bottom of the cup and more of the light blue at the top of the cup. But it's going to be pretty layered, so there's going to be a lot of colors in there. At the end of the video, I'll show you guys what my swipe beach pours look like and compare it to this tree ring beach pour. And I think we are all done layering that cup, so we're ready to start pouring. We're going to do a wandering tree ring pour from this side down to this side, so hopefully that works out. I usually use reusable cups for all my pouring, but for these kind of tree ring pours, it just seems easier to use a paper cup. And let's get pouring! Now that I've used up all of my paint and tried to fill in all those gaps as much as I can, we are ready to start tilting this.
All right, so now that I've blown out the edges a little bit and the whole canvas is covered for the water, we are ready to get started on the beach. Just give it a quick torch and let's start pouring those browns. Our beach is gonna be a little bit different than the water part because I will be doing a little bit of a swipe on the beach because I really like the effect of the white over the brown to make it look like the waves are rolling in. So that's why I'm not doing a tree ring pour at this point. I'm going to do the same technique that I do for a normal swipe where I try and fill in as much of the canvas as possible with my palette knife before I get started with the swipe part. I'm taking that white and I'm just gonna make a nice line, not too thick, right here where the water meets the sand. I will be going back in with a straw to blow the white over that blue, which is why I wasn't worried about bringing that tree ring pour all the way up to the waterline. And I'm just gonna use a damp paper towel to do this swipe. It's easy because I have it around and I can just throw it out when I'm done. I wanna make sure I have good contact with the paint before I start dragging that paint down the canvas. And I'm not gonna take that all the way to the edge because I wanna try and do another tree ring pour to make the sand effect for the beach. I'm coming in with my palette knife and just spreading that out so that I don't have a big clump of paint sitting right there on that side of the canvas. Now I'm gonna start layering my browns in my cup to pour them. I'm just using one of the smaller cups since I have a smaller area. The effect that I was going for was I was hoping it would look like sand dunes with the shadows and the highlights, but it didn't really come across that way. I ended up getting a lot of the darker brown and less of the lighter brown intermixing. So I didn't get the effect that I wanted, which is okay because I can just tilt it off the canvas. <laughs> and I'm coming back in with the white because if you go to the beach, you'll notice that there is a layer of foam that gets pushed further on the sand than the waterline. So I went back in with that. And now that I have that white down there, I can come in with my straw and start blowing that out a little bit. So we get more of a wispy, wavy, natural effects. I'm also going to add some white to the water so that it can have a waves breaking look over there as well. And I accidentally lost some footage here, but basically what I did was just blew that white to make it look more wispy like I did with the sand. And with that, we're going to go down to the canvas and get a closer look at this painting. I have some mixed feelings about the results that I got. There are parts of this that I really like and other parts like the beach that I'm not super fond of. I think I have more success doing a swipe with beaches, but this is definitely fun and something a little bit different than the typical beach scene that I do. And this is our final dried painting. It has a nice glossy finish because I used a higher quality paint. I like how this technique turned out. I think the water looks pretty cool, but you know, there are parts I don't like. This beach down here didn't turn out exactly how I wanted, but that's okay because the water is pretty redeeming. What do you guys think? Do you like how this turned out? That's how it looks for a tree ring pour, and this is how a swipe turns out. 
I like the paints that I used color wise better for this, but you can see I got some cracking from Apple Barrel White. The beach looks better and the water looks a little more realistic in my opinion, but they're both fun in different ways. Which one do you guys like better, the swipe or the tree ring pour? Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!